Incorporated. Y'all know what time it is. Kent, 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 Incorporated. Kent, 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 Play games for a living. Hello again, welcome back. Glenn Nandlestad here with Games Incorporated, where we like to review, talk about, and play board games. So, we are looking at a game that was on Kickstarter last year in March. Got about $12,000 for production, but you can buy it everywhere, including good old Amazon. Bang! Roll for it. The Roll It, Match It, Score It game. This is the purple box. There's also a red box for this. They're the exact same game. The only difference is the dice are different colors, the cards are different, but it's the same. You just can match it together and support play up to eight players. By itself, you'll be looking at play for four players, and it takes about 20 minutes to play. It's a dice rolling game. It's luck based. Can we call it a game or is it an activity? Or are games all activities? I don't know. Maybe some mixed feelings with this one. Let me give you a quick overview on how it plays, and I want to share all my thoughts about it with you. Okay, so here are all our component overview for Roll For It. You've got the stack of cards, and in a four-player game, you're going to take the, the top three of those cards, and you're just going to place them in a line there. If you're combining two sets and you're playing with five or greater players, you're going to lay down four. Each player in Roll For It is attempting to match their die to these cards in order to gain the most victory points. The first player to reach 40 victory points is the winner. Each one of the cards has two things. You have the die symbols that you need to match in order to score it, and then you have the actual value for scoring it. We've got four different colors with six die each. Blue, red, white, and green. On a player's turn, you're going to take all six of your die, and you're going to give them a roll. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to match these up to the cards. Now, you can split them between if you'd like, or you can decide, hey, I'm just going to try and match and go for one card. So let's take a look here. I got a six, a four, three ones. Hmm. I can match a six and a four here, and then I can take my other die and re-roll on the next turn. Or I can split them. I can keep that 6 and 4 there, and I can place a 1 here. As you see, there is a 1 for that 5 score card. On the other opponent's turn, though, they're going to be doing the same thing. So if green were to do a roll and match any of these, boom, there would be two 4s. You can place those on the other side of the card. Actually, they got three 4s with that roll. Now, if either I were to be able to match all the symbols on this card or green, that player would simply take the card, receive the value points on it, in this case it was 15, and then immediately replenish it on the center. Anyone else's die that were there and attempting to match on it are removed from the game and placed back over to that player. That player receives no points. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. You're going to roll it, you're going to match it, and you're going to score it. Be the first to capture that card, gain the victory points, the first to 40 points, that's our winner. All right, roll for it. The roll it, match it, score it game. So, eh, there could be an argument made that everyone should have a game similar or like this in their collection. And what do I mean by that? Basically a game that you can teach someone in 15 seconds, right? Last I played this was Thanksgiving. Now, uh, for, for non-gamers, you know, this is so just introductory. It's, it's like, it's, it's easier than Yahtzee. There's no roll and re-roll mechanic in it. And one of the things with that is you'll roll the die, go around, oh, now it's your turn roll the die back and forth, and then you're just left with rolling sometimes or many times one or two die trying to get it, and it's just like back to you, one in six chance. Oh, didn't get my four. Then you got it. You missed it. Oh, didn't get my four. And it becomes mind-bending boring, but I don't know. The kids love it, and my mom loves it, but she's 66 years old and she doesn't play board games, so what are you going to do? I think it's cool, you know, that it was only $12,000 raised for it and they've sold so many of them. It seems like the game has been very successful. Uh, even Rodney on Watch It Played did a little run through on this game, which was a little bit surprising, but hey, that's great. So what do I think in conclusion? Buy it if you don't already have a really super simple game like this. Uh, just so you can play with other non-gamers, you know, small children, older folks, family stuff like Thanksgiving, and that's about it. Uh, I love rolling dice. It's, it's a lot of fun, but there isn't even like a roll or re-roll or nothing. It's just rolling and seeing what you got, and there's, there's just nothing to this game. It is bare. There's nothing to it. It's not, that's what I was saying. Is it a game or is it just an activity? I, I don't even know. But anyway, those are my thoughts. I'm Glenn Nandelstadt. This is Games Incorporated. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to see more of these playthroughs and reviews, just make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thumbs up, 
and share this video. Have a good one. Games Incorporated. Y'all know what time it is. Games, 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 Incorporated. Games, 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 games.